Around the time of World War I, European countries were very enthusiastic about breaking aviation world records, flight speed, range, etc., as this not only promoted the development of related domestic technologies, but also gained international recognition. For this reason, some specially designed aircraft appeared, and the British Ferry J-9479 single-wing long-range aircraft was one of them. In 1928, the British Ferry Aviation Company designed and manufactured this aircraft, which was specifically developed for the Royal Air Force of Britain to explore some technical issues related to increasing aircraft range. The aircraft was very slender, with the entire structure designed for long range. The front of the slender fuselage housed the engine compartment, which installed a 23.944-liter liquid-cooled Napier Lion Sia engine, driving a pair of twin-blade propellers. The engine could produce 580 horsepower at 2,585 rpm. The aircraft had a two-person crew, and considering the fatigue from long-distance flights, there was also a small bed for resting inside the fuselage. The aircraft had a high monoplane wing, mainly made of wood structure with some metal support structure, covered with fabric skin. The wings had a large aspect ratio, suitable for long-distance flights, with a neat exterior and smooth transition at the wingtips. Large-size fuel tanks were installed inside the wings, with a total capacity of 4,741.6 liters of fuel, providing fuel assurance for long-distance flights. A large horizontal tail and single vertical tail were installed at the slender rear end of the fuselage. The landing gear was a fixed tailwheel type, with large rubber wheels. In April 1929, Arthur Gordon Jones Williams and Lt. Norman Jenkins took off from the Royal Air Force Base in Lincolnshire, England, and flew to Bangalore, India, for the first long-distance flight test of the aircraft. Perhaps due to the aircraft's focus on long-range design, its takeoff performance was somewhat lacking. Despite waiting for suitable weather conditions, the two pilots still decided to take off in a headwind of 10 miles per hour, 16 kilometers per hour. After 16.5 hours, they arrived over Istanbul, and then flew through Baghdad and Karachi. However, the two pilots estimated that the aircraft's fuel was insufficient to reach Bangalore, so they chose to land in Karachi. This long-distance flight was highly prestigious at the time. In the 50 hours and 37 minutes of flight, the two pilots flew over 6,646.6 kilometers, a great test for both the aircraft and the pilots due to the long duration and long distance. As the first flight did not achieve the expected goal, the two pilots planned another flight in December of that year, this time intending to fly to a more distant destination, South Africa. Unfortunately, the aircraft crashed in Tunisia on December 16, and both pilots were killed. According to the flight log, the cause of the crash may have been a malfunction of the altimeter or a misjudgment of altitude by the pilots. In 1930, the Air Force received a second ferry aircraft, the Ferry K-1991, which added equipment such as an autopilot, and later set a record-breaking flight of 8,540 kilometers in Africa. Although it was later returned to England for modification, it was considered to have no value and was simply redesigned. The maximum takeoff weight of the Ferry J-9479 single-wing long-range aircraft was 17,500 pounds, about 7,938 kilograms, with a length of 14.783 meters, a wingspan of 24.994 meters, a wing area of 79 square meters, a height of 3.658 meters, a cruising speed of 180 kilometers per hour, and a crew of two people.